Welcome to Crypt Zone. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. You can also support me by following this link. Welcome back to the channel guys. And today we're going to look at your companions and the locations that I found them so far. So far I only found two companions. Um, and as you know at this moment they don't stay permanently. I think later on they will hopefully make it more permanent. So the first location that I found them at is at uh, the military base site. If you land here on the top of that mountain, right here where the communication tower is, you'll find that there is a, a nest there. But there's a customer incoming, so let's quickly take care of him. It's a bot, so we're not going to worry about getting hurt or anything. Let's quickly beat the shit out of him. And at least he brought me a gun as well. So I'm sure most of you guys already know this. How the companion works is you find the nest. And you have to actually hatch the egg. Once you hatch the egg, the companion stays with you. Not that he's doing anything. It's actually quite worthless. He doesn't warn you of enemies. He doesn't fly to the locations. He doesn't do anything helpful. He just sits on your shoulder. As you can see, it will only be visible to your friends and uh, to you and it will not be visible to any other people and there is your falcon the second place is in Pucheki at the church just got the stairs here just checking if there isn't somebody following me And there we are. There's the nest. You hatch him, and you've got your companion. So, those are the two locations so far that I've discovered. So, if there's any other locations, please let me know. Here are some surprise kills for the week. That guy didn't see that coming. This guy ran into the house. I decided to get him from behind, and there he was. Goodbye. Look at this far for years. This is a nice long distance kill. This was a nice group kill. On the mirror bar. This one would have looked more spectacular if I actually got more shots in. But I attempted to shoot him while jumping off. Another one with a scorpion. I check this guy. I see him coming in. It's not long. I'm gonna wait for me on top to come up the stairs. I ex expected him to come through the door and he decides to come past the door. This guy's upstairs, I'm looking for him, and we actually ran past each other. Another nice kill with the P99. Also, Monday was a double drop day. It's not often you see this, this is quite rare for me, but there was a double drop there. As well, further into the game, I found another long distance kill. Plus, Another double drop airdrop. Anyway, those were the highlights for the week and the locations of the two companions that I found so far. Now, here we are in Chinook. 
this is now my very hollow victory and the reason why it's hollow is because it was kind of stolen from me started off with a nice level 3 helmet now I love this location this location has got pickup galore level 3 vest there, QBZ it's also good when you have a team you can land a team here there's three levels and there's definitely something for everyone it's not always level 2 and 3 level items mostly level 1 but at least you can stock up on something so far I don't pick up the Godzilla t-shirts anymore. The hype is over. Normally um, there's a bot coming in about now. But this time around it was a bit more quiet. Now I'm still playing on the um, Middle East server. It's much more stable for me than Europe and it goes in quicker. Like I've shown you guys in a previous video, it's almost instantaneously you get your match. Especially when you're playing single player in first person view. Now I know there's a lot of guys complaining that the server is too easy, wara wara, but all the servers started out easy. Eventually, as you're going to level up to gold and platinum, you're going to get your challenges. And it's going to get just as difficult as Europe and all the other servers. Only this time it's a bit more stable. So we're basically just running around and looting up now at the moment. decided to stick with the QBZ for now. I've got a very predictable pattern by this time. I've been playing this map for so long that you kind of find yourself following the same pattern every time you land in a specific place. We're a little bit out of the circle, out of the safe zone, so let's head into the safe zone. Let's see if we can find anything in this house. At least it's in the circle. Still looking for a, a decent scope. It's actually quiet in Chinook at the moment. Not much happening. Ah, QBU. Let's pick that up for my long distance rifle. It's 
since the QBZ and the QBU shoots with the same type of bullets, I decided to just drop the QBZ, go for the QBU because it's a bit more stable and it's much better for long distances. Fifty two alive and still only one kill. Ah, some action behind me. I decided not to go back. Wasn't in the mood to die quick. Wanted to get some more loot, maybe a better scope. Let them take each other out. Less people for me to kill. That was the survivor of the fight from just before. I don't see anyone at the moment here. Yeah. Let's cross to the other side. I was checking behind me to make sure somebody's not following me. And it seems like we can go to the cave area. Always looking for the back of the circle. So I can go to the side that's closest to the blue. So I'd rather have people come towards me than me go towards them. Right, let's go say hello. Let's go check it out. I'm looking for him. I don't know how far ahead they shot. Yeah, let's leave it. Let's go this way. Continue to our nav point. Ah, airdrop's right in front of me. Let's go for the airdrop. It's nice and close. And here's the previous airdrop. And one thing about Chinook is people don't pick up airdrops, not always. I found most of the times when I get to an airdrop it's never even been opened, as you can see. Don't know why, but people don't tend to pick up airdrops in Chinook. So if you have an airdrop mission, you can do it on, on this map. Two airdrops, not even one ghillie suit. Hmm. Anyway. Now let's swap the gun for this MK14. I've never shot with the MK14 before. So let's see how this weapon does compared with the QBU. See that guy now. Let's go down to the store. Let's see if we can pick up some stuff there. Let's get rid of all this crap. 
It's filling up my bag. Let's boost up. Yep, someone's coming. Let's wait for him. You see, when you play against me, you have to be careful opening up a door. You never know where I'll be waiting for you. Not too bad. Ah, where's that guy? Come on. To left. To left. Ah, where's that other guy? Not one coming in. Sorry. Come on. This is why I need a better scope. Okay. What happened to that guy now? Five kills, five alive. I sometimes tend to stand right in the, in the open and trying to concentrate or focusing on shooting someone that I never think of protecting myself. And that's why I die most of the times in, in these type of games. I forget to actually use cover. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. And there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Anything here? Nah. Guy coming. Oh, come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Now this is a clear indication this is a bot. If it was anyone else, they would have probably moved, jumped around, moved around a bit more. Actually get out where they can actually shoot me, not stand still and wait for me to shoot them. Not that I'm complaining. No. I like easy matches now and then, it makes me look good. Here he comes. Another bot. That's eight now. Now where is that last guy? Let's boost up. In case this last guy is an actual player and not a bot, I need to be ready to do anything. Anything can happen now. Cause this is normally where I lose it. This is normally where I lose my games. Getting overexcited. Missing the mark. And this is how I feel that my victory was stolen from me. I won without even shooting the final killing blow. So, I kind of feel cheated in this game. Everything was w going well up to this point. As you see, I'm waiting for this guy. I'm trying to see where he's running. I don't know where that guy was originally. He was definitely somewhere in the blue. The blue came in. The bot didn't move in. And I got the winner chicken dinner. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down and please give me a reason why comment on something just give me a reason because I want to improve this channel I want to improve my video I want to improve the way that I hand the content to you guys if you guys just give me a thumbs down without any reason then how am I supposed to make it better or improve or give something that you would appreciate anyway guys thanks very uh, thanks again for watching see you guys next time don't be a stranger cheers